how to add an audio player to your Squarespace website. Now this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial, so if you follow along by the end of this video, you will be able to add an audio player to your Squarespace website. Okay, so to do this, you want to go to the first link in the description of this video. Just go ahead and open this up, and that will take you over to this website called Elfsight. Now, Elfsight is a software that allows us to get access to tools and widgets that we wouldn't usually be able to get with Squarespace. And one of these tools is going to allow us to add the audio player to your Squarespace website. Now, the awesome thing about Elfsight is the fact that you can sign up for free. So all you need to do is enter your email into this box right here, click on start, and then you can go through and create your Elfsight account. Once you have done this, once you have created your Elfsight account, all we then need to do is click on widgets at the top. And then this is going to take you over to the widget area and you can scroll through and see all of the widgets that you can access with Elfsight. There's a lot of these, like some of these you might play around with and realize you want to add them to your website as well. However, we are specifically going for the audio player. So go to this search bar at the top and search for audio and then just select the audio player right here. What we can then do is scroll down and you can see we have a few different options of templates that we can choose from. So go ahead and choose one of these templates. I'm just going to go for this one. And then once that is selected, click on continue. From here, you can then delete certain tracks that you don't want there, but effectively delete all of these if you want to add your own. Click add track and then you simply add this in from your computer. So I can add one in right here. We can then go ahead and click into this and start changing the title. So I can change this to be called um, subscribe and change the artist to me. And then you can add an image, everything like that. Um, add an image here to make it congruent with the rest. And then you can go ahead and change like the rest. Like we can change the layout. We can change a lot of different things about this, like the progress bar, if there's a shuffle feature, a loop feature, everything like that. Now, once that is done, once you have this filled out and it looks the way that you want it to look, what we can then do is click on add to website for free. It's then going to take a few seconds and show you a preview of how this is going to look. Once again, if you're happy with this, we can then click on publish in this top right corner. And then it's going to ask you to choose a plan. The plan that you go with depends on how many monthly website views you get. So choose one of these plans. However, if you're new to Squarespace or if you just want to test this out and see how Elfsite works, you can go for the free plan right here. Once you have selected one of these plans, it's going to take you through to this screen where it gives you this line of code. From here, super simple, it is just a case of copy and paste. All we need to do is click on copy code right here. Go over to Squarespace. Of course, open up the editor. And then all you need to do is go to any section, literally any section on the website. Click on add block in the top left corner. And then add in from all of these options, add in the code. So we click on code. It's then going to add in this box that says hello world. So we can double click on this and then delete what's currently in there. Paste in exactly what we just copied. And as you can see, it shows like embed script and gives us like this little box. Don't worry, as soon as we, this is only going to show up in the editor. As soon as we go out of the editor, you can see that this is now going to disappear. It's then going to show up the audio player right here. And if we go down, you can see the box that we added is not going to show up and it's only going to show up in the edit section. So that is how you can add an audio player to your Squarespace website.